Welcome to week two of the subscriber store reviews. So every single week I'm doing a video like this one where I take three random followers of my Instagram profile and review their Shopify stores in a video like this where I can just give you my honest feedback. There's a ton of people out there right now making use quite wisely of the spare time they have obviously due to lockdown, building Shopify stores and taking advantage of that free 90 day trial that Shopify are currently offering. So the plan is to do a video like this every single week, take three stores at random until I get through everybody. So if you do wanna get your Shopify store reviewed, head to the link in the video description. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Every single week I'll put out a post like this one. Um, just send me your store link and then I'll feature it in one of these videos. With that being said then, let's jump straight into store number one, which is shoppowertrain.co.uk. Um, as you probably noticed by now, I'm gonna be reviewing these stores on a mobile device purely because the majority of social media users use social media on a mobile platform. Therefore, the majority of your sales are gonna come through mobile devices as well. So just make sure that even though you're designing and building your store on a desktop, um, then just make sure it looks good on a mobile device as well. So I want to apologize in advance as well if I come across as quite harshly, um, but I wouldn't be doing you guys a favor if I was to lie to you and not give you my honest opinion because it doesn't matter how much money you spend on ads if your store doesn't look good, then you just that's gonna be money down the drain. People aren't gonna trust it, people aren't gonna convert, you're not gonna see the sales, you're not gonna make any money. So I wouldn't be doing you any favors by lying and telling you if something looks good when it doesn't. And with that being said then, let's jump straight into store number one, which is a general store. Um, as you can see at the top then, they have a header bar, the free shipping header bar with a note about the coronavirus, which is really important nowadays. Everybody is wondering about whether businesses are up and running and operating as normal. So make sure you have a note on your site somewhere that customers can see, just highlighting the fact that you are operating as normal. That way, it just puts people's mind at ease. They don't wanna risk placing an order for to a company that isn't currently active. Second thing off, the header looks really good. Um, as you can see, instead of a logo, they've got Shop Power Train. Now, logos aren't 100% necessary. However, if you have that added budget of, say, $20 to pay a designer on Fiverr, then it's definitely a favorable thing to do. So if you have got that budget, then it's definitely something I recommend everybody does. Moving on, they've got kind of like a banner image with a link that takes them to, let's have a look, um, to like a product collection, which is absolutely fine, works perfectly. They've got some nice kind of stock images for their collections, which is perfect. Um, and then it moves into like a specific product, which I assume this is probably the product in which they're gonna be pushing. So first impressions of this particular kind of product section on the home screen is it doesn't look that great, to be honest. Their product images aren't that bright and bold and clear. As you can see, they have text across the top. They have text across the bottom. This, in my opinion, should be in the product description. And because it isn't capitalized and it's in like a weird font that isn't anywhere else on the store so far of what I've seen, then it kind of looks out of place. Um, I'm just gonna check their variants look decent, which they do, which is a really important factor. One thing you could do to improve this is you can get an app called, um, I can't remember now, it's called Color Variants or something like that, where it puts like radio buttons on the screen instead. So instead of having to click once to open up the menu, then scroll and click, it's just like different circles of different colors. So you can just click right away to the particular variant or the particular color that you want. Now that might seem a bit kind of picky, but trust me, it can make all the difference. It knocks off probably a good one or two seconds for a customer to have to make a purchase, which can make all the difference. The second thing, kind of minor thing, um, in terms of an improvement, if it was me, this is what I would do is instead of having the add to cart button as like the background color the same as the rest of the screen, I would reverse the color. So I would make the add to cart button the blue color with the text being in white. That way it'll just make it stand out a bit more and therefore people's eyes will naturally draw to what's kind of standing out on the page with it being the add to cart button. That's obviously a good thing. Now one thing they could do to kind of improve the professionalism of the store is instead of having like a Gmail email address, have a personalized domain. So it could be info or support at shop powertrain.com or .co.uk. Um, now, to be honest, I've found success using Gmail accounts, but if this is gonna be a long-term thing for you, you can get a G Suite account for like, I think it's $3 a month per email address, so it's a really small expense, but it just adds to that professionalism of the store. If we just, let's go to one of these collections and have a look at a random product. Um, let's go for this one. I've seen this before on AliExpress all over the place. Um, so really nice, kind of big, clear um, product images, which is good. They've got decent product titles as well. And now they have the variants. It's called a material, even though 
we're not selecting a material here, we're selecting a particular size or a particular phone. So that needs changing. This needs changing too. The fact they've got a UK domain, the prices are in GBP. Um, however, they're using the American spelling of color too. So that needs improving. This is one big mistake that I see a lot of people making. Um, you need to go through every single product that you upload, rename the variants so they look professional and they make sense basically. This will put a customer off. If somebody comes onto this product page and they see this, um, it doesn't look very professional and if they don't trust you to get the names of your variants right are they going to trust you for spending 20 pounds 30 pounds with you and delivering a product moving on the product descriptions are pretty uniform they've got looks reviews by the looks of it however they have 16 reviews all five stars which seems quite unlikely even for the best products even if you're going for the best products on amazon um, that at the top of the page number one and two listing the chances that even those have three or four star reviews so try not to do that with your products if every single product has five star reviews for every single review it looks a bit suspicious so when you are importing reviews from looks just make sure you import um three Three, four and five star ones moving on to store number two then we have northtrendy.com pretty cool name i like this they've got a proper domain as well which is good now if we have a look at the shipping bar at the top you can see it's kind of cut off um, and it overlaps with the x to close it i'm assuming there should be more words on the end of this so it should go into two lines or perhaps they should kind of collate this down so it all fits on one line um, just a little layout issue there but no nothing big nothing major the other thing is they have some really cool nice images i really like the look of this theme so far again they have some good stock images for the different product collections if we take a quick look at the menu all looks neat tidy in keeping professional etc and then they go into the different products that they're currently selling no issues here so far then i like the fact see like these little touches which i noticed which in my opinion are really good if you look at the top right where they've got like the cart button it's in like a, a yellowy browny color the product prices are also in that same color by looks fit and those sort of little things just make it tie in really nicely and it's the key to branding really it's the key to making your store look really professional product images what they could have done here is you see how some have like a clear white background and then some don't some are squared off with a background in the actual image it looks a bit ununiform it's not a big deal you can find success either way it's not going to hold you back however if it was me this is something that i would choose to do myself scrolling through the rest of the home page then so far so good so good in terms of a first impression it's a really decent looking store so far um, more some more products reasons to buy from us now if they can i'm assuming this is just the way the theme is built in but i would try and make these a bit smaller so they all fit onto one line just because because it's a bit excessive they don't need to be this big but again it's a small issue it's not gonna be the deciding factor between whether you are successful or not they've got to subscribe to us and then they've got a nice looking photo menu too so that being said then let's check out one of these product pages let's just go for something at a random let's go for what's this some sort of gardening tool which is quite current now there's a lot of people out there spending time in their gardens if you are currently looking for a niche to get into then gardening is perfect now here in the UK the weather is starting to get better people are all are on lockdown it's the sort of thing a lot of people might not necessarily have the time to dedicate to but being in lockdown they have that spare time so people are spending a lot more time on their gardens so tools things like that are absolutely perfect right now i really like the product pages so far then everything is kind of in keeping until i just saw these count two countdown timers now this is completely overkill um in in my opinion it kind of a bit of a it kind of ruins this product page to put it bluntly it's a shame they've got this on here um, if this was me personally coming to this store it would put me off right away because these colors they've used for the trust badges for the countdown timers they are completely different to the rest of the site they're not in keeping they look completely out of place um, I would remove these altogether. This site has a really nice looking theme, really nice looking color scheme. It looks professional. There's no need to have these countdown timers on it, especially not two of them. So if it was me then and I had to improve this page, I would remove at least one of them. I don't know why they quite have two on them, especially because they're both kind of advertising a limited time offer. They're both not synced with each other either so again that's another reason that put people off um, until i sort this issue out i would have all my facebook ads currently switched off right now in terms of the trust badges too i would put them into a color that's currently at the top of the page maybe that light gray maybe the yellowy brown just to make it a bit more in keeping and then i would have more of a product description to try and sell this product to there's no kind of key features or benefits or demonstrations of how to use this tool there's nothing really on this page that kind of sells this product product descriptions are really important don't kind of look past and make sure you spend that extra time to write thoughtful 
um, and in keeping and a strategy behind them as well. Finish off the product page then, so far it looks really good. They've got all the social sharing links, they've got related items, which is this kind of like really nice scrolling feature, really professional looking, really good. They've got their really nice logo, the drop downs with different information, etc. This is a really, really professional looking store and except for this section here that you can see. I would, if it was me, I would actually probably remove both of these countdown timers and just spend a bit more time writing better product descriptions because it will make all the difference. You've got a really professional looking store. You don't need to kind of use scarcity or countdown times to get people to buy from you. With that being said then, let's move on to store number three. So store number three then we have ocasio.store. It's this custom domain. Instead of .com or .co.uk, they have .store, which works really nicely. Um, I think these custom domains, people are getting more used to. So when I first started four years ago, if it didn't have a .co.uk or .com, then people would would be wary about trusting it but in today's age I think um, it just gives it that bit of difference, bit of quirkiness and looks really good if you ask me. Um, in the top bar then they've got 50% off today only which is absolutely fine, just creating a bit of scarcity, giving people a reason to purchase today as long as it's truthful of course. They've got a nice background image at the top which the header blends into which is really cool. If we open this up as well we can see it's really easy on the eye, it looks really professional, they've obviously got a really good theme installed. They've got all the typical links here too at the bottom which a customer would expect to see. So, so far so good for this. If we click shop, um, have a look at the kind of products they're selling. They've got loads and loads of different products. Let's try and find, so as you can see, they're running a general store which matches the name, which is really good. Let's take a look at these resistant bands then because I know this is a huge niche right now. So in terms of the product images then, they've got a really nice image here now. Um, let's have a quick scroll through. So they've got a demonstration of how to use these different products. They've got a woman, they've got a man, they've got another man, lots of different exercises and cool, which is all well and fine. But this is quite a nice image, in fact, which shows how the product is displayed and how it would be delivered, which is cool. They've got Resist Bands TM, which kind of gives off the impression that it's a well-established company, well-established brand and name, which has been trademarked. 11-piece resistant band set. So no issues here so far. They've got a little free shipping note, which is good. And then they have a variant here, which I'm assuming there's no need to have this on here because you can't change anything, so you wouldn't have it here. All it's doing is creating white space and it's putting less information on the page, if that makes sense. So I would remove that variant altogether since there isn't an option to get anything else, so why would you have it there in the first place? They have a countdown timer here followed by some trust badges. Now, this whole area, in my opinion, just looks a bit busy because they've got a countdown timer too. Even It's kind of in keeping with the page, which doesn't look too bad, but then they have buy killer tech. Now, in my opinion, this looks just a bit too unprofessional. So if it was me, I would use a different countdown timer. If you wanted to use one, I tend not to use them now unless it's kind of coming up to like a special occasion like Valentine's Day or something like this where people would expect to see discounts or Cyber Monday, Black Friday, those sorts of things. But if you did want to keep running a countdown timer, then I would go for one that doesn't come with this third party branding. Um, just so people can't make that link to a different company, therefore it doesn't look as unprofessional. Something like Horrify or perhaps Killer Tech offer a paid version where you don't come with this brand in. You've got secure and trusted checkout with the trust badges there, which is it's fine, it looks okay, it looks pretty decent, but if it was me, I'd put this at the bottom of the page because that's not one of the most important things when it comes to purchasing. They've got quarantined, which is quite relevant to the current times, create your own home gym, some nice images. They've got a lot of white space here, which needs to be filled, so I'm what I'm guessing is they need to go into that product description under the product listing on the dashboard and just kind of delete some of the enters, delete some of the spaces they've put, just to kind of bunch it up a bit more, make it look a bit more professional. To kind of illustrate what I mean, in fact, if we're going to Amazon, I've preloaded this. If we just scroll kind of like top to bottom, so it's the same um, product, but if you just look through Amazon's product pages, like there's hardly any white space, just because the more information you can put on the screen, then the better. The less distracted people are gonna get, the less bored, the more you kind of keep their attention, and the more you keep their attention, the more likely they are to make a purchase. So just scrolling down, they've got some really cool images. They've got what's included, which is really good, buy with confidence. And then they've got a nice uh, review section here, which I'm guessing again is looks reviews. However, they've got 19 reviews. Every single one is five star, which is quite unlikely. So going back to that point I mentioned earlier, um, just make sure that you import reviews which aren't all five star because it can look suspicious. One of the really cool features about looks as well is it's quite customizable in terms of its colors. So one thing I always do when using it, 
on my own stores, instead of having these black stars, then have them as yellow or an orangey color, just to kind of draw people's attentions to the really good ratings you have of your product. Now, if you are thinking about using looks reviews in your own store, I have recently partnered up with them to give you an extended free trial. It is the review app I use in my own stores, hence why I don't mind reviewing it to you guys. I'll only ever put things out on my YouTube channel that I use myself. Um, if you go straight to the Shopify app marketplace, you'll get a two week trial. Whereas if you sign up with the link in my video description, you'll get a four week trial. So if you do want to use this app in your own store, make sure you check out the link in the video description below. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up. So if you're still with me, thank you very much for watching the video all this way through. Um, please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Please do make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already. Um, and finally, then just to finish the video off if you are currently looking for a program that comes with somebody's full support and guidance um, please do make sure you check out my ecom academy there will be a link in the description below so go hit that link go check it out see all the testimonials see all the kind of things you get included um, and like i said everybody who joins does get my full support and guidance so that being said hopefully that's of interest to you if it is please do make sure you check out the link and apart from that thanks very much for watching again and hopefully see you in the next video as well